Hey, John McBride, Rocket Mountain Animal and Systems. We're uh, actually out here in the Nevada desert just after Interdrone doing some testing real quick. Just wanted to show you this function. Um, I think we've seen it a, a couple of times, but anyway, we've got the Z30 camera as well as the XT camera up on the front end. Um, if we do actually kind of move the cameras around, we have some gimbal control up and down. We can see that moving and doing that. Uh, if I actually pick on the, on the other image, so the Z30 image here, or the XT image, I can then individually move it around. We can see that kind of happen if we take a look at that. But what kind of is cool is this that whole linking the cameras. So somebody's already asked me, can you do that? Yep, you can. So as soon as you link the cameras together, they are linked together. And this likely will be a very common configuration with the public service as well as inspection guys. So to be able to do that. One thing is like if we just take a little bit closer look and look at how the mechanics works here, we do have kind of a force feedback kind of movement here. So if I move one, the other one just kind of copies. So um, if I turn it off, this it doesn't actually copy from this one. You can see it doesn't do anything to this camera, only from camera number one. So it's kind of a kind of a feedback loop that it feels. If we take a look at the top here, though, up on the top mount, we could possibly take that lower camera and feed that up onto the top, and then do a do a double camera thing. But it ends up kind of going backwards as far as operation instead of actually operating correctly with up and down and left and right. It's not really recommended. The top mount was really just to put the camera up on the top and run no camera on the front, but I guess it could be done. But it does do kind of a kind of an opposite, weird, whatever, hokey pokey thing. So not, not recommended at all. But just to show that function real quick, it is actually going to be a pretty cool function to kind of link those two cameras together. Um, all of them will work this way, so the only ones that you don't actually end up putting together on a twin mount are the X4S and the X5S. Those two cameras we don't use because there's only one SD card, you don't actually talk to the two uh, uh, SD cards at the same time since those two don't have onboard SD cards. Z30 does have an onboard SD card. The XT has an onboard SD card, and in combination, you can run those with the X4 or the X5S, either one of these two. So, just another quick video from uh, John McBride, Rocket Mountain Man Systems, and uh, hopefully, we'll see you guys flying out there.